Hey guys, this is Charles with Jaeger Film. Today I want to do a quick kind of informal tutorial showing you how to cover up the back of your 360 video. Essentially we're going to be covering up 180 degrees of the entire 360 either with a solid or a logo or something like that. Just an area you don't want the viewer to necessarily be looking. Uh, the method's pretty straightforward but it does require a few steps. So I just kind of, kind of walk through the process really quick here. How we're going to do this using the Skybox tools in After Effects. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and add in my 360 footage to a new composition. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just create another composition. So I'll just come over here and create another composition. I'll just leave it as comp one. And for the width and the height, I'm just going to leave it at 1024 by 1024. Uh, the size really doesn't matter that much. I'd recommend something around 1000 pixels at least. And you want it to be one to one. So you want it to be perfectly square. And for the duration, you want to make sure it's at least as long as your video is going to be in this case. I'm just going to leave it at the default. I'm going to click OK. So now we have this new composition here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new solid. And you want to try to make this the color of your background, but we can change this here in a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the color here and I'll make it red. Click OK and make sure you click make comp size and then click OK. So with this square, this is going to be our backdrop. But see, if you think about the back of a 360 video or the back half of a 360 video, it's not flat. It's more like a bowl shape because, you know, it's around basically cutting a sphere in half. So, so what we need to do is we need to make this into an actual circle. So I'm coming to the mask tool and I'm just going to click and select the ellipse tool and then just put the solid selected here. I'm just going to double click and that'll create a perfect circle for us since our comp is one to one. All right, now let's go back to our 360 footage and I'm going to select that comp that we just created and I'm going to drag it and put it on top of my footage. So there's the circle and what we want to do with this selected is go ahead and apply metal project 2D. So effect metal and then come down here to project 2D. Now that we have that selected, come over here to scale and we wanna set this to be 180 degrees and that's going to basically make that into a square. And right after that, this kinda of looks weird but you have to remember that this is getting distorted and it's kinda of interesting because circles and squares, the way they work with rectangular footage, uh, when this circle is covering up 50% of the video, it actually turns into a square. So it's kind of an interesting little tidbit there. But you can see if I go ahead and lower this back down, you can kinda of see what happens but when it gets all the way up to 180 degrees, so you know this is perfectly covering up 180 degrees of your video. So right now we have this covered up. Let's say we wanted to add in an animation or something else that we had already created. And so what I've got here is another composition, uh, an intro here of just my logo, and uh, it's got a colored background there. So I wanna go ahead and add this in on top of that background of my 360 video. So let's go back to the 360 composition. I'm gonna drag in my animated intro and I'm gonna put it at the top as well. And kind of one of the things here you want to make sure is that it, it doesn't go outside these edges because if it does that, that's not going to look correct. But again, we'll, we'll keep moving. We'll tackle that as we come along. So with this composition selected, I want to also apply the Project 2D to that. So we'll come here to Effect and Metal and Project 2D. And I can go ahead and resize this or do anything I want with that that I need to. I'll just kind of leave it at the default there. It looks pretty good. Now with my background here on Comp 1, I'm actually going to apply a fill to that to make it the same color as the background on my animation. So I'll come here to Effect and Generate, Fill, and I'm actually going to move this above the Project 2D effect. And I'm just going to click on the eyedropper tool there and click. So now that looks correct. And again, really the only thing we need to watch at this point is just making sure that whatever I added onto the background, if I scale it up, just want to make sure that it doesn't go outside the edges. In this case, it shouldn't because it's all the way at 180 degrees. But if you had text or something on this comp one layer, when you scale it up to 180 degrees, it will disappear pretty much. As you can see what happened with the logo, that's why we're having these on two different separate layers. When I scale it all the way up, it just kind of basically runs into the camera, 360 camera there. So I'm gonna leave that as is right there. But now if we wanted to go ahead and move this to the back, because right now it's currently in the front of our view, I'm gonna go ahead and lower down rotate projection. And I'm gonna set this to be 180. And now we can see, as long as it's split right there, we know it's on the back of our 360 video. We're going to do the same thing on the solid layer. Under the pan, I'm going to type in 180. So now it's moved to the back of our 360 video. Let's go ahead and double check this though. So inside of this composition, I'm going to go ahead and go over to Skybox Composer. If you don't see that, you can open it through the window down here and select Skybox Composer. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a 2D edit just because I want to preview this. And I want to select my composition here, which is 360 footage 2 and leave everything else as is and click add 2D edit. So now if I go ahead and hit C on the keyboard, I can look around here like I'm looking at my 360 video and there we go. 
It's covering up the back half of the 360. My logo's not there, though, because we're at frame one. So if we go ahead and move down in time, we should see that animate in. There we go. And you can see now as we look at that, it's perfectly straight. And we are covering up perfectly 180 degrees of our video. And so you could change that to black or whatever other color you wanted to um, or add any other graphics or that kind of thing into your video. But it's kind of a cool perspective, and you can see that it is mapping correctly. So I'll just go back to that main comp. All right, guys, that's pretty much the method that I would use to create this effect. Hopefully this gave you a few ideas if you're creating something similar. Uh, and hopefully you got a few tips from this tutorial. All right, guys, it's been Charles. Thanks for watching.